Fun fact, did you know that sneakers got their name from the rubber sole that they actually have because it doesn't make any noise, so sneak and as a result sneaker and I've been a huge fan of this type of shoe for a very long time and I just thought I should make a series on how you can make a shoe like this in Blender. Mainly I'm inspired by All Star Converse. Right now on the screen this is the shoe that I've made and I'm guaranteeing you that by the time you finish this video series you will have this shoe in your PC. You'll be able to do this on your own. I actually did multiple of them so I also did this but for now I didn't texture it so meaning we'll actually go have to go into season two i've made videos uh, mainly just modeling this so i hope you like it i feel like i've talked too much so let's start this open up blender and let's do this all right now let's create the sole of the shoe make sure you're on the bottom shift a on the keyboard image reference and now let's just bring in the bottom of the shoe and at this point shift a on the keyboard mesh plane now what i want to do with this is first the scale okay so let's turn on the x-ray and now let's just increase till it reaches the far end of the of the shoe and here and now we can just shrink it I can move it down right that's good enough let's go into edit mode Control R on the keyboard to make divisions so you left click then right click and then just increase the number of cuts let's make like eight that's okay and now at this point uh, you just start make sure you're in point mode here and then just start selecting points and then make sure they align with the bottom of the shoe mainly the painted part all right so they are in some spots where there are too many like it's leaving out a gap too much so you just make another cut Control r make a cut if not one you can even make two depending on how much uh, of a gap has remained okay so now we are done with this let's go to the side and so we can go to the right side and then shift a Oops, make sure you leave the edit mode you're in object mode shift a image reference and then get the side so we have the side view there let's just see if they they are aligning okay so our reference images don't seem to align very well so go to the top view you can push seven on the keyboard or you can use this what i'm using here R to rotate and make sure it's in the positive there's a number here on the top corner that comes up make sure it's positive 90 and once we have that the shoe looks to be in the right place okay so I'll select the bottom and hide it here and then go back so this has gone to the back view now and now i want to see my plane at the same time so since x-ray is on i can not see my plane anymore so what i want to do here just for the sake of missing is i'm going to edit mode and then make sure you're in faces and then select all push a on the keyboard select all and then e to extrude and then just drag up so you reach this level and then just click and now what i want to do is push go to the back view again select the reference image 
oops i'm still in edit mode just leave edit mode and then select the image and move it up so i'll turn on x-ray again so that i can be seeing i want to align the bottom okay so once i'm done with that as you can see my image seems to be bigger than my actual object that i started with so i'll push s on the keyboard and then just okay so now we align it again like that All right now i go back to the object select the object go back into edit mode and now i want to be in point mode select a point select two points like this and then just align them with the shoe mainly looking at the bottom here so the main thing we want to align is the bottom line here that's what we are looking for so now that you're done with the bottom align the top Okay, now that's done, uh, control R on the keyboard and then make a loop cut just in between there and then push S and then just expand it. That looks okay. One more thing that I want to add is I come to modifiers here, modifier properties, add a sub uh, division modifier, vamp this up to three. And then control R on the keyboard and then just make a cut real close to the edge there. Make another one at the bottom. And we are done with the saw of the shoe. So I can just hide the image. Oh, one more last, one more thing. Uh, just right click and then smooth shed, so we can have a smooth. Uh, what's this here on top? Okay, so you can tweak this however you want, just uh, till you like what you get.